Here's our lesson for today. We're going to draw the kitty o cat. Now, a couple of things. I, I probably don't emphasize this often enough. I expect you to draw your pictures much larger than the example that you see on your lesson page. There we got six iterations of the cat, right, as we develop it. I would like for you to fill your paper with the picture of the cat. When I draw on my whiteboard here, I'm drawing much larger than the picture that you see here. It is way easier to draw things big than to draw them small. If you draw small, it's hard to get all of the fine details in there. So when you see these lessons, I want you to draw things four or five times larger than what you see. Now again, all of the red lines that you see on the page, these are lines that you do very lightly. Don't, don't be digging your pencil in, even though they appear darker when they first appear. Later on, you see how they get uh, more, uh, lighter as you go through it. He's emphasizing where you add the lines to each step of the drawing. But it's only here in the last step that you should go in nice and dark. So again, you can do all of the red parts with a pencil and then do the final ink, uh, I'm sorry, the final uh, drawing in ink and then erase all of the pencil and you get a nice clean drawing at that point. Okay. Oh. I have to move my beverage to the other side. Set up my lesson where I can see it okay. So we start with a couple of bubbles, as we often do. I'm drawn nice and big now. And a long bubble here. Probably too long. I'm going to cut that down a little bit. Maybe extend this a little closer. That's the nice thing about these first steps. The idea is to get the proportions right, get everything into the right place. So if I see that I haven't got it right, I'm gonna go in and fix it now. It's much easier to get the proportions correct if you correct it while you're working in these big bubbles. So there's his shoulder and here's his Haunches. That's a little too low. I'll fix that. Using rat lines, but I'm getting way too many rats, aren't I? I got a rat infestation here. There we go. Two kitty haunches. All right, at this point, we can go in and start making it look like a cat. Now, cats have got triangle ears. Add those in there. Once again, just a very light line now to divide his face. couple of lines to indicate where the eyes are going to go. Give him a neck. That's good. His head won't be just floating out there in space anymore. front legs, and then, let's see. Yep, those are his back feet there. Now, when you look at that final picture, say if this is up here, 
it looks as though cats have got backward knees, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like it's got a knee that bends backwards? He's got these tiny little footy paws. Well, the truth is, this whole thing is his foot. And his paw is just his toes. And I can show that to you. On my cat skeleton, I know that you've got a cat skeleton that you keep around the house just for such an emergency. But if you look at the back leg of the cat skeleton, here's his hip, which comes to his knee. The knee is really so still inside the cat's body. His ankle, and then his foot with just his paw here. Paw is just his toes. And here's the foot. So this part here is this part here that we just drew. It's helpful to know the anatomy of the animals because then you'll be more likely to put things in the right places. Okay, let's add some more details. Let me give him his little kitty eyes here. His nose. Little kitty mouth. And we'll put his paws down here. His paws are his toes. And we will assume that he's standing on even ground. So all of his paw, uh, all of his paws, yeah, should align very neatly here. So he's standing on the floor. And give him a big swoosh of a tail here. Swoosh. My cat doesn't have a big tail like that. Something happened to my cat when he was a kitten. Before he came to live with us. I don't know what happened, but he got his tail kind of knocked off. I like the way he has you do that, though. You draw the middle of the foot, then you draw the paws, and then you connect it up here with the ankle. That makes it easier to get it into the right place. Let's add a little thickness to the ear here. A little thickness to the ear over here. Put in some eyeballs. Well, I've got kind of an angry looking cat there, don't I? He looks like he's mad. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. But he's not angry. We're, we're going to fix him. Okay, we got the legs. All right, it looks like I've got mine all blocked in. Now. We'll go in and add the details in black. Finish them off here. That's good. I can have my cat skeleton stand on the book so it stays open. I knew that thing was useful. So now that I've blocked it in and I know where all the pieces parts are supposed to go, 
I'll go in and any place where it doesn't look exactly right, I'm going to fix it as I add the black lines. So, and kind of a fuzzy face, fuzzy chin. Still looks kind of kind of mean. He doesn't look mean in the other picture. I don't know. He just got up on the wrong side of the whiteboard today. Give him a little smile there. And like the bunny, his faces. Right here, it's not really a, a bubble, is it? It's kind of squared off. Give him a jaw. There we go. And now he looks like he's smiling. That's a little better. I don't know what I did to upset him. But he's starting to get over it. So we go to all the trouble of drawing this nice big red bump. But in the final picture, it's just to remind us that he's got a little bump here at the the shoulder. And we'll rough him up, make him a little fuzzy on the back. And make the tail kind of smooth. I'm taking out these red guidelines where I don't need them. There's his little paws. His left foot is facing us here. So we're going to get to see his entire leg. We can draw his little kitty toes. Kitty toe. Kitty toe.
All right. So before I finish his belly, I'm going to draw his back legs. Then I'll connect it all the way across. Uh, So again, this is his knee is actually behind his tail right here. Knee is up there. When they're walking around, it's it's sort of inside their belly. You can't see a, a real definition of it outside. And that's why it looks like he's got a backward knee instead of a really long foot. But that is the truth of it. And we'll see this as we draw other animals too, dogs and horses. All have really long feet. Horses just walk around on their tippy toes. Now you see what I do? I, I, I often come in here and I do my dark black line. Then I take out the red and have to redo the black line. I don't mind that. I don't mind it at all. I sort of see where it's supposed to go, make an adjustment, go back and do it again. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay by me. A little bit of shading here on the back leg and the haunch. And now I'll come in here, give him a little kitty belly. And there we have it, a cat. And if I'm worried anybody's going to be confused, I can always write cat above it. I don't think anyone's going to say, hey, nice octopus. All right, there's too much of a hump there. He's off of the hump. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like his drawing lessons. Mine's a little long. Not quite as fat. But it still looks like a cat. So let me see yours. Can you show me your pictures? Hold them up. Ah, nicely done. Yeah. Swaraj, you've... you've have a nice skinny cat like mine too. Aryan, you're holding it a little high. There we go. Nice, nice. I like your head. I like the way that turned out. Anusha, nice. I like it. Wonderful. That's what I like about these drawing lessons. 
everybody's able to come up with something that looks like a cat. Very well done. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me tonight. I will see you next week, and we'll draw some more from the Lee Ames Drawing Series. More Draw 50, please send me a copy of your pictures, and I'll be adding them into the videos. Uh -huh.